Hi everyone, we want to share with you some tips for when you travel or if you travel to Cancun. It was awesome from Houston, it's just a two and a half hour flight, which is great and it's a direct flight, which is better. And just some things that you might want to keep in mind. So we actually traveled to Cancun during MLK weekend, which is awesome because we had those days off. But of course, keep in mind that because of that, everybody else also had a time off. So when we arrived to, in the airport, it was really busy. It took us, I would say, at least an hour to get by customs. And so I would suggest they have some restrooms uh, right there in customs. Maybe use the restroom before getting in the line. So that is something that you could keep in mind. Usually, apparently it's not that busy, but because it was a long weekend in the States, it, the airport got super busy. We also noticed they have different lines. So you do want to keep in mind um, they, in customs, they have these lines and you'll see like at the back, there's a green light and a red light. Wherever you see the most green lights, you want to stand in that line. That, those, that line will move way faster. If you see that there's more than two or three red lights in the line you're standing in, you might want to avoid it basically. Right after customs, they have the duty-free stores. So you just uh, get out from the customs area and immediately right there it's the duty-free and right after it's the baggage claim area. So you can do your shopping and get your bags. So I don't know if it was because we uh, took so long in the customs, but by the time we went out, our baggage was already there waiting for us and we didn't even have to pick it out from the rail. It was already uh, on the floor. So that was something really nice to look forward to. After you get your bags, then you walk out and there's an area if you have any items you need to declare, you would stop by there. They also do random checks, so just be prepared for that. It's not a big deal if you don't actually have anything to declare, they'll just check and then you'll be on your way. Right after, when you head out the doors, you're gonna be greeted by a lot of uh, places where you can rent a car or maybe get uh, a ride to your hotel or the different shuttles. You also uh, will see there's a lot of people. They're gonna try to offer you if you want any type of uh, tourist plans. So you can look into the airport. I would suggest uh, for your travel from the airport to the hotel or the resort you're staying at, just keep it prepared beforehand. So as soon as you land, you can just look for your ride and be on your way. I would suggest always a double check with your hotel or the transportation company where will the uh, bus or car be waiting for you so you can exactly meet them at that spot right after you get your baggage and everything there'll be a lot of people that will try to convince you to go with them take a ride with them but it's better if you just uh, keep going forward and look for your transportation there will also be people that will try to fig ask you who your transportation is and maybe inform you that it was cancelled, which will not be true. So just go to the place where you're supposed to go and meet your transportation and you can be on your way. So actually in the airport, when we were heading out from Cancun, it was very busy, probably for the same reason that it was a long weekend and everybody was returning at the same time. So you might want to keep in mind uh, to maybe arrive uh, early enough in the airport that you can take your time with the lines and everything else. When you're inside the airport, once you're done with uh, checking in and security, there's a lot of shops, so you can definitely get some shopping in. They have a lot of amazing restaurants. We had an awesome time there. So you'll definitely enjoy your time while waiting at the airport.